Hello guys, do you know what is data versioning and what is the importance of data versioning in machine learning context and especially uh, when we say like data versioning is a very important component of MLOps that is machine learning in operation. So uh, my name is Asutosh Tripathi, welcome back to my channel and today I will be talk about uh, data versioning and its importance. So what is data versioning? So data versioning I would say similar to or very similar to uh, code versioning. In code versioning what we do? We version the code. Here instead of code, we will be versioning the data. So data versioning is the process of storing and applying versioning on the data which are created or changed at different point of time. So this is about data versioning. So now we will understand uh, importance of data versioning in the context of machine learning or specifically in the context of MLOps that is machine learning in operation. So in MLOps, one of the important component is reproducibility so what is reproducibility reproducibility is nothing but keeping the older working version while experimenting with other versions right so suppose in future uh, your particular experiment fails then you need to uh, load the previous ex previous working experiment experiment and that working experiment needs some data at that point of time so for that to load that particular experiment you need the data of that particular time and that is where the importance of data versioning comes. If you have not versioned the data, then it will be very difficult to reproduce that older experiment. Right? So this is the reason why we need data versioning. So very importantly, in one line, if you care about repeatability, traceability and lineage in your machine learning lifecycle, then data versioning is very crucial for your workflows. Now let's understand what are the different tools and techniques or mechanism we follow to version the data. So the very first one we'll talk about DVC that is data version control. So DVC is an open source data versioning uh, system or tool for machine learning project. DVC is storage agnostic. When I say storage agnostic, it means you can use different uh, types of data storage with DVC. So DVC support reproducibility by consistently maintaining a combination of input data, configuration and the code that was used to produce a particular experiment at that point of time. So that point of time is very important because we will be uh, versioning the data for that point of time. Another very important tool uh, comes when we talk about data versioning is Pachydom. So Pachydom is a tool for data scientists which is used for version controlled automatic end-to-end -end pipeline creation. Pachydom supports incremental processing by which it keeps a track of change in data and that's how it only provides smartly the new data what is required so it is able to differentiate like uh, what is old data what is new data and what you need another important tool in data versioning is lake fs so what is lake fs and how it works so lake fs is also a open source data management or i would say data version system that transform your uh, data in a git like repository so that you can easily uh, version your data so another important tool uh, in data versioning is Delta Lake. So what is Delta Lake? So Delta Lake is also an open source data management tool. So Delta Lake provides ACID like transaction. So if you study in DBMS, then you might be knowing what is ACID, ACID properties, right? So De Delta Lake supports ACID properties of transaction and also it provides serializability. And that's how it helps to uh, gain the maximum isolation within your uh, different versions of data. So that's about Delta Lake. So these are the uh, three to four very important or I would say widely uh, used tool for data versioning. There are many other tool as well. For example, Neptune, you can refer neptune.ai. So they also provide data versioning system. Then we have DALT, D-O-L-T. So this is another data versioning tool. Then we have Git LFS as well. So there are many data versioning tool available in the market. I have mainly talked about which are open source okay so that you can use uh, Im, uh, you can start using immediately okay without paying much so that's about uh, data versioning and why we need data versioning in the context of mlops i hope uh, by now in this short video you got a clear understanding of what is data versioning and it's important with mlops so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to like subscribe and share with your colleagues so that will motivate me in creating further videos thank you